So one more interesting question, you know, I alluded to this earlier when I was finishing this weighing balance analogy for two's complement numbers is suppose I ask you, I give you a sign two's complement number 11011. Okay. So, what is the value of this number by the way before we go ahead? So, this is bit 0, 1, uh, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3 and minus 2 power 4. Okay. So, it is a 5 bit number. Okay. And I am going to write this number as minus 2 power 4 plus 2 power 3, 2 power 2 term is 0 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0. And therefore, this is equal to minus 16 plus uh, 8 plus 2 plus 1. 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. This is equal to minus 5. Okay. And therefore, in 5 bit 2's complement representation, the decimal value is minus 5. Right. Now, how do I get the positive value of this? How do I get the 2's complement? Uh, two's complement value of this, right? How do I get the effectively? I am asking how do I get plus 5 from this number, right? So, just look at this sequence of operations. I will take 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay, and simply change every 1 to 0 and every 0 to 1, okay? So, I am going to simply I will write the conversion like this every 1 will become a 0 every 0 will become a 1, okay? And then I add a 1 to it, okay? I add a 1 to it, you will get 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, when we add a 1, by the way, we are doing addition in the uh, binary number system, okay? So, uh, what I should do is, so effectively, let me first of all evaluate this value. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 is just 2 power 0, 2 power 2, right? And if I add these two, I will get the number plus 5. So, you take the number, complement the values, that is make every 1 as 0, make every 0 as 1 and then add 1, you will get the, the negative of the number, okay? So, if this is A, okay? which is minus 5, then to get minus a, right, if you to get minus a, you have to do the operation that I mentioned, complement every bit and add 1 to it, okay. <coughs> now, we have not yet seen, you know, the addition part and in binary and all that. So, when we do that, I will come to it. You can also prove this just like we proved the sign extension case, okay? So, I will do one more example here. Suppose if I take, I am giving you a sign 2's complement number 11010, okay? Just to sort of highlight, you know, what happens when you do the addition, right? So, this, by the way, uh, I am going to first of all evaluate its value, right? It is again minus 2 power 4 plus 2 power 3, uh, 2 power 2 is 0, I mean that term is 0, 2 power 1 and 2 power 0 term is also 0, right? So, 8 plus 1, 9, minus 16 plus 9 equal to minus 7. So, what should I do to get plus 7? I want the value of minus a, that means that should be plus 7. So, what am I going to do? I am going to complement the bits 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. What I have done is I have simply taken this um, number and made all 1s as zeros, uh, all zeros as 1s, right? That is what I have done here, okay? So, is this value correct? Minus 2 power 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 2 power 4 plus 2 power 3, 2 power 2 and 2 power 1 right? Yeah. Ah, so, this is wrong. So, this is actually 2 power 3 is 8 plus 2 power 1 is 10, right? So, this is uh, 
8 plus, yeah, 8 plus 2 is 10 and therefore this is minus 6. So when I do whatever operation I do with it, I should get back plus 6. That's what I am doing here. So I have taken the number here, replaced 1s with 0, zeros with 1s and then I add a 1 to it. Now remember this is binary addition. So how do you do binary addition? You do 1 plus 1, you will get 2. But you cannot represent 2 in binary and therefore you have to do that as 0 and then get write a carry of 1. Okay. So effectively it is just like in decimal system when you beyond 9 when you go to 10 you basically put a 0 and take a carry of 1 exactly what you are doing here. Okay. So now I do 1 plus 0 I get 1 then 1 0 0. What is this number? This is equal to 2 power 0, that term is 0, 2 power 1 plus 2 power 2, 2 power 1 plus 2 power 2, 4 plus 2 equal to plus 6. So, in order to take, you know, you in order if you want to just take a 2's complement number and get minus a, the negative value of that, right, all you have to do is you have to, uh, you know, complement every bit and add 1 to it. Okay. Likewise, I can do one more example. I'll take a positive number this time. I'll say 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. In, uh, in uh, 0. I'll do this. Okay. So, what is this value by the way? This value is nothing but uh, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. So, this is 2 power 3 plus 2 power 1 equals 10. So, if I now in uh, you know take if I do the same operation that I just mentioned convert all 1s to zeros, all zeros to 1s and then add 1 to it I should get minus 10 as the answer ok. So, 1 I will I'll, I'll do the complementing bit 1 1 0 1 right this is what I have I am going to add a 1 to it. 1 plus 1, 0, carry 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, is this, you know, minus 10? Let us check it out, okay. So, this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, minus 2 power 4 actually. So, therefore, it is minus 2 power 4 plus 2 power Uh, yeah, 2 power 2 plus 2 power 1, okay, that is minus 16 plus 6 equal to minus 10. So, one other way of actually writing out the 2's complement number, right, suppose I ask you, what is the 2's complement representation of minus 6? All you do is to take you know the to the representation of the number of the positive number first okay so i look at plus 6 what is the representation of plus 6 it is just 0 1 1 0 okay but add the extra bit there so that you can handle the negative number remember that don't take the minimum number of bits that you need to represent the positive number add an extra bit okay 0 1 1 0 this is plus 6. I want to now find the 2's complement representation of minus 6. So, what do I do? Complement 1, 0, 0, 1 and then I add a 1. So, you get 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, I add a 1 here, I will get 1 carry and I will get 1, 0, 1, 0, right? And if I were to evaluate this, this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and 2 power 3. So, therefore, minus 2 power 3. Therefore, this is minus 8 plus 2 equals minus 6. So, this is the easiest way of writing out the 2's complement representation of a negative number. Write out the positive number first uh, with an extra bit and you add a 0 there. 
take complement of all the bits and add a 1 to it. You will get the negative representation. Mathematically, this is the same thing as what we did earlier with the balance. From minus 2 power n minus 1, we are subtracting some number, right? That I will prove later for you in the course. Thank you.